Hey guys, today we're gonna to talk about something that's kind of new to me. Um, something I just started to experiment with a little bit, but I thought it was kind of cool and I thought I'd like to share with you guys. So we're gonna talk about catching uh, crayfish or crawdads, whatever you wanna call them. Uh, so we're gonna go through the whole process. This is a homemade trap. So I'm gonna show you how I built this trap. And I'm also gonna show you how I use this trap. And we're gonna go through even cooking and eating them. So uh, let's get started. All right, so you only need a couple materials to get started. Um, I recommend some hardware cloth. Um, it's got smaller squares over like a like a garden fencing or um, like a chicken wire or anything like that. So I, I feel like that's better a better fit for this process. And then the next thing you need is just some wire cutters. And then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use zip ties. This guy over here is simply gonna be the actual body of the of the cage itself. It's uh, it's roughly 32 inches long by the width of the roll, which is two foot. And then I've got this long skinny piece here. This is gonna be for the door. All right, so we're gonna take a square like this. And what I do, just to make things a little easier, is I'll pick two little prongs in the middle and just leave them intact. And then I'll cut the rest of the way down the middle. And then basically, we're gonna go ahead and make a, like a comb like this. All right, so now you can see, see how it's kind of split here. Split down here, but it's still connected in the middle. So that's gonna be basically, we're gonna wrap it like this, kind of, and attach it together. To make a cone, and we're gonna attach it together just like that. So you can kind of see how we got to this point. All right, now, for this long skinny guy, what I'm doing is I'm gonna make a loop like this. It's about an inch and a half, inch and a quarter, around like that. That's the goal here. So here's what we're looking at. It's an inch and a half. So this part's really simple. I just cut a hole right here in the end of this, this uh, tube. Um, so if you see this one, just has the, the two pieces that I left unclipped from the original square, I just cut it open and make a hole. And then we're gonna attach this ring right here at the end so that it looks like this. Now, a regular minnow trap would actually have this just open like that. But I'm adding this guard and you'll see once I'm done that uh, it'll kind of help keep them from crawling back through and escaping that way. All right, so we've got this all attached. Perfect little circle, cone, kind of thing going on. And then what I'm gonna do, I've left these ends on here like this. We're gonna bend them like that to make kind of like this guard the whole way around. Um, if you're wondering, I did not come up with this. I saw it on a, a store-bought trap. Thought it was a pretty good idea. So I borrowed it for my own design. All right, so this, this is the whole body of the cage. We're just gonna zip tie it together a couple different places. I like to overlap a good bit just to make it a little bit more rigid. All right, so now that we got this all secured, We've got both of our end pieces. We're gonna go ahead and merge them together. So this piece slides straight in there. So we're gonna go ahead and attach this the whole way around. And we're definitely gonna have to make sure we get as much of the gaps out as possible. We can't have any gaps whatsoever along this edge because the, uh, the crawdads will, once they go in and start competing back and forth for the bait, they'll crawl up in this edge to hide from each other.
my advice for picking a spot to lay your trap, your crawfish trap, is to just test some different things out because really I've kind of caught them everywhere, so it doesn't really matter. But uh, I'll show you where I've, where I've got mine laid out and you can kind of see what works for me at least. So even just walking up to this one, I, I'm spooking them from around it, which is pretty crazy. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how to get started cooking these guys. Really simple. I'm gonna take this can of beer, bunch of seasoning. I'm gonna pour this beer in. Anything that it doesn't cover, I'm gonna fill in with water and then season. Pretty simple. Just gotta boil them on high for like 15, 20 minutes. 